Hi there guys and welcome to day two of seven of Physio Goodness. It's actually day five of my isolation here um, in my comfy and cosy recording studio that is my bedroom. So this is an opportunity hopefully to turn a negative situation into a positive one and just provide some simple and actionable steps that you can take to make your isolation better. So a lot of people were asking me, Tim, how are you? And I realised I left you on a bit of a cliffhanger. I didn't actually explain to you how I was doing. Um, so if I'm honest, I thought I was going to be a little bit invincible um, and that I wouldn't really be affected. Um, they say that, you know, if you're young, you're fit and you're healthy, which hopefully I'm some of those things, but who knows, um, then you should be all right. Um, but the reality is, is that... Um, it's actually affected me in ways I didn't really comprehend would, would happen um, because of those factors. So I am more short of breath um, than I thought it would be. So, um, you know, I can I can probably only speak for about five or ten minutes continuously without kind of really getting out of breath and needing to kind of stop talking, um, which is not such a bad thing for a lot of people. Um, so, yeah, so out of breath, just feeling quite tight in my head. Um, but apart from that, I, I count myself quite fortunate, quite lucky, because um, that is probably the extent of it. Um, so onwards and upwards. So enough about me and more about how we can help you. So today we're going to be talking about desk ergonomics and how you can use your kind of your your bedroom setup or things around your bedroom um, and kind of adapting your setup um, to make it optimum for you. So I am still working from home. Um, I still feel like I'm able to do that. Um, so what I have done is I have changed my setup. So here it is. So this, ladies and gents, is my desk setup. So as you can see, what we've done here is we've used my used my chest of drawers and my lovely, if you can see this here, my washing up pile, um, because I can't take anything at the house out of the room. Um, so I've used my chest of drawers as my desk. Um, and what we're doing here is we've raised up my uh, seat here so that my um, my hips are about the same level as my knees. Um, I've also got myself a lovely little lumber roll um, just to help me supporting in my sitting. Um, now, the unfortunate thing about this, as you can see, is I don't really have too much room for my knees and my feet. Not ideal, but you've got to roll with it. Um, moving onwards, um, if we check out my desk setup here, so um, what I'd recommend is just get a, uh, a, a keyboard, either wired or wireless, um, and you can use that. Um, also get yourself one of these lovely little gadgets, uh, a wireless mouse or a wired one. Um, and this as well, a desk laptop razor. So this, the, all of these items are about 15 quid each. So they're super cheap. Like, you know, literally the, the lumber roll here, the keyboard, the mouse and the desk razor, all about 15 quid. So they are simple steps you can take, which will make an absolutely huge difference to your shoulders, to your back and to your neck. Now, as you can see right here, um, I've loaded up onto our screen, Seven. ultimate guide to a pain-free workday. So this is just, um, some seven quick and easy exercises that you can do um, to really impact your desk setup and look after your body. There you go, guys. That was a really quick whistle-stop tour into how you can help your desk setup um, in your home environment, um, and particularly if you're in isolation. Um, so get those quick and easy tips. So it's a lumber roll, it's a mouse, it's a keyboard, and it's a desk riser. Um, and head across to our website and you can just check out that um, and you can download that PDF um, of simple and actionable um, stretches um, and strengthening to really look after your body and prevent it from det deteriorating whilst you're in lockdown. So guys, we're going to keep it short and sweet. Um, we will see you tomorrow for more goodness. Take care.